Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're just going to be going into a real quick unboxing slash first look at this product and we'll be putting it to the test later on. I'd put it to a test right now but I have specialty lug nuts on my car and here in the garage and uh, it's not easy to do those so I'll be using it on my other vehicle which will save for another video but we're going to take a close look at this new product I'll show you what it's all about give you some information and if you guys uh, think it would be useful for you it is linked down in the description for you guys uh, and that stay tuned for the next video where we put this to the test but this is a new product from Ulsa tools you guys might have seen the organizer review that I did on their uh, kind of like screwdriver slash multi-tool organizer and stuff and then they also have a reversible style special reversible style ratcheting wrench that I did a review on pretty good products there really enjoyed them uh, and it seemed like my viewers enjoyed them as well so now we have the Ulsa tools part number one two one one uh, it is actually an extendable breaker bar now I've seen extendable ratchets but never an extendable breaker bar uh, and I thought this was kind of a cool idea especially my first thought was for in vehicles if you don't have a newer vehicle that you know comes with the fancy tire iron and stuff with the jack and all of that which can kind of be sketchy at times too uh, and you don't want to buy one of those sketchy collapsible uh, tire irons or folding ones or whatever and you don't want to have that big four point tire iron in your car I think this would be a really good addition uh, or just something to keep in the vehicle for any emergency situation I also think it would be great for suspension work and certain things because it's collapsible uh, now a lot of people don't want to use a ratchet when it uh, involves you know applying a lot of torque or breaking away uh, something that has a lot of torque applied to it uh, they want to use a breaker bar so they don't take the chance of damaging their ratchet uh, and that's the idea behind a breaker bar plus you get leverage and don't have to worry about any teeth breaking or anything so it's got a pretty good diameter to it obviously you can tell it's pretty thick the price on this just right away is going to be anywhere from thirty dollars to thirty five dollars depending uh, you can find it a couple different places like on Amazon and stuff it just varies uh, it is half inch drive and with it collapsed all the way like this it is 16 inches and then to unlock it there's no button or locking or anything like that uh, I mean it does lock but nothing like any mechanism that locks it you simply just twist it that's locked and then turning it unlocks it and you easily extend it or you can lock it down at any length that you really want uh, which is really nice you know there's not set points to where you can lock it so you can adjust it exactly where you want between 16 and 24 depending on if you're working in a tight spot and you need more leverage but you're also restricted by another part of the car you can kind of you know get exactly the most out of it that you possibly can which is kind of cool uh, other than that, it's funny because the Amazon portion said 270 degrees of flex. I was like, that doesn't seem right. It is 180, a little bit more than 180, but definitely not 270. Uh, but you got the entire flex head there. Inside you can, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up on the camera. You can see the spring in here. So it is spring loaded and it's very smooth operation. You do have the ball detent there on the side. Uh, and then you see like a ball detent here, but it's actually not a detent. Like it, it doesn't lock anything in place like or anything like that. It just stops it from going any further. That's all it's there for. So that's that. Uh, other than that, it does have a nice knurled handle for grip so you don't slip. And it is made in Taiwan. And like I said, it'll be linked down in the description if you guys are interested. My thought on it was not only is it going to be good, you know, for any job around, I don't know, as much around the engine bay, but, you know, suspension work and stuff where you have a little bit more room and stuff that, you know, usually needs a little bit more torque applied to it to break it loose or tighten it. Uh, but my other thought was, you know, keeping it in the car. You could grab uh, your lug nut socket and just throw it on here and you know you're good to go I have the slim design sockets to prevent scratching the rims 
and you can remove it if you really need a thin wall socket. Uh, these are just the Harbor Freight ones, but they've worked really well for me. Uh, and yeah, this is probably something that I would keep in the vehicle as an emergency, you know, along with my jack, because a lot of that stuff that comes with it can be pretty sketchy <laughs> when using it. And I think this would hold up really well. I do like, sometimes I can fully turn it, like right now, I can fully make circles, which is weird, but when I want to lock it down, I can lock it down. Uh, and it locks down in any location I want. So, nice 24 inch long breaker bar, collapsible down to 16. Let me know your guys' thoughts on it. I've seen the ratchets, never seen a breaker bar of this style. So I thought it was really cool. I figured I'd share it with you guys. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this Ulsa Tools extendable breaker bar. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys in the next one.